Hi, and welcome to the How to Make a Tutorial tutorial. I'm Doug. I'm Guy. And I'm Andrea. We're the instructional designers responsible for making the TechSmith tutorial videos. You've probably never seen us before, but you might find yourself going, wait a second, that voice sounds familiar. Usually, we hide behind screen video, but we thought we'd change things up a bit. And today, we're here to teach you how to create a tutorial video. Great tutorials start with great planning. Start by spending some time getting to know your audience. Learn how they use your product and find out where they struggle, then use that information to choose a tutorial topic that will help the most amount of people. Once you have your topic, we recommend creating a storyboard to outline and visualize what you plan to show. Some people get really creative and draw amazing pictures like this. Honestly though, mine usually look more like this. I usually create a simple list with some notes on the side. I usually create quick sketches. And you'll probably see some stick figures. I do a series of simple screenshots showing roughly what I plan to display with the narration, usually. Anyway, when you're finished storyboarding and you have your plan in hand, you're ready to record, right? No, stop what you're doing. Before going any further, write a script. Please save us from the ramblings, extra details, backstory, and meandering topics. Write a script. We swear, it's not as bad as it sounds. And here are a few tips to get you started. One, use words you'd use in everyday conversations and try not to make yourself sound too sophisticated by leveraging convoluted statements to augment your dialogue. Yeah. Two, show, don't just tell. Instead of giving a play-by-play -play of your on-screen actions, first I click this, then click that, let those actions speak for themselves and use this time to communicate the more important things, like why you're using that effect or making a decision. Three, practice, practice, and then practice again. Read your script aloud and see how it flows. If you find yourself getting tripped up, go back and make sure you're using natural language. Finally, get some feedback. Find someone who's not afraid to tell you what they really think and send them your script. This might seem scary at first, but once you get used to receiving feedback, it becomes an essential part of the scripting process. When you're comfortable with your script, it's time to record the narration. Start by getting your hands on the best microphone you can find. Even a middle of the road mic will provide much better sound quality than the one built into your computer. Then find a quiet place to record. We have a recording studio with sound dampening foam, which is great. However, we realize this isn't feasible for everyone. And if you're looking for a lower cost solution, a broom closet can sometimes get you a pretty similar sound. When you're ready, record your script and make sure to speak slowly and clearly. If you make mistakes, don't start over. Simply pause, then start again right before you made the mistake. You can always remove the mistakes when you're finished. We recommend using Audacity or Adobe Audition to remove mistakes and any extra noise from your audio. With your audio recorded, the next step is recording your video. Start by cleaning up your desktop and closing any applications you don't need. This is also a good time to turn off any notifications that might pop up, like this one. Oops, I should probably close that. Open the application you want to record and walk through exactly what you want to show your viewers. As we said before, practice, practice, and then practice again. This will help you get those smooth cursor motions and in the end, you'll have less editing to do. When you're ready, open the Camtasia recorder and record your screen. Remember, if you make a mistake, simply pause and then start right before the mistake. You can always edit them out in the end. When you're finished recording your screen, it's time to get all hack and slash with editing. To start, cut out mistakes by selecting them with the playhead, then clicking cut. To trim extra footage from the ends of your recording, drag the end of the clip in, 
When finished, bring in your audio narration and any other media you need for your project. With your audio narration on the timeline, use clip speed and extend frame to sync the pace of your video with your narration. For example, if you need more time to explain a concept, split the clip and use extend frame to essentially freeze the video. Or, if you want to speed up a boring part of your recording, add clip speed. Then drag the handles to speed it up. To focus your viewer's attention, use animations to zoom in on the important parts. For example, here I show a really important setting that's a little hard to read. So I'll add an animation. Make sure the playhead is after the animation arrow, then zoom in to show detail. Next, add that finishing touch by adding a title slide to the beginning of your video. Move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline, then hold shift and drag. This creates a blank space in the timeline. Next, add a title and bring it to life with an animated behavior. Or my favorite, add a pre-made intro from the Camtasia library. If you want to learn more about editing video with Camtasia, check out our tutorials. The last step in creating a tutorial is to save the video. Think about where you want this video to live and either choose a share destination or choose to save the video as a local file. As an extra last step, we recommend sharing your video with a few people to get some feedback. This is a great way to make sure your message is clear and your video is accomplishing your goals. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and get out there and create some awesome tutorials. Later, Gator. Ciao.